Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here, back with another Pixelmon 3.0 video for you all today. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to get your very own Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres within the latest update of Pixelmon. If you guys do enjoy this video and or find it helpful, make sure to leave a like below. That would be awesome to hit 5,000 likes on this video. And if you guys do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe because I do have lots of Pixelmon on this channel. But anyways, guys, I also want to finally mention that the music in this video is the work of Z-Count, the actual official composer for the Pixelmon mod. So if you guys do enjoy this music in the mod in general, not just the one on this video, I do use it in a lot of my Pixelmon videos, make sure to subscribe to his channel, which will be in the description below. He does a really good job on this music, so I think appreciation towards him would be greatly left in his comments. But anyways, guys, let's get on to this tutorial. So as you can see here, I have my Snowflake, my Sparky, and my Moltres, or my Phoenix, from my original series, which I had ages ago, my season two of Pixelmon. So I'll put them away for now. They're just a little bit of show off. But what I am showing off is these little shrines that have been added in the Pixelmon 3.0 update. And what that allows you to do is to get yourself your own little legendary, but we'll get to that in a bit. I'll show you how to get them. Uh, these shrines actually in the uh, inventory, you can't actually get them. They're more for the map making side of things. But as you can see here, I have a lot of Rattatas. Rattatas, Rattata, Rattatas, I call them like, I call them Rattatas for fun, um, but it is Rattata. These guys are obviously in the top percent of Rattatas, so um, uh, if you get that joke, you're a winner. But anyways guys, to get yourself, uh, first you gotta find one of these dudes, which are located in the Ice Mountains, Forest Hills, and the Extreme Hills, uh, in their respective ones, as they used to spawn before. No, go away, go away rain, no one got time for that, no one got time for it. Okay, that, that's gone away. So to get the orb, guys, to actually, uh, which is pretty much what you gotta do is you gotta get an orb and you gotta put it inside these dudes. So pretty much what you need to do is you need to find yourself boss Pokemon and you need to farm them for the orbs. Now the orbs are quite rare. I was killing a couple off screen just before. I seem to have got one every one in five kills. Uh, didn't get one there. We got a glitched out King's Rock, uh, which I need to do soon. But yeah, guys, also leave some suggestions on what you guys want me to uh, showcase next. Um, because I am looking for things to review constantly. Jesus, we're not getting very lucky of these at all. I haven't killed two top percentile of Rattatatters and haven't gotten one yet, which is not great. Oh my god, he took out my Moltres. Oh my boy, this is going to be pretty embarrassing if I have to uh, use... Alright, oh my god! This Rattata just took out two of my legendary birds with double edge. Oh, we got it. Alright, and there we go. We got ourselves a orb. So... As you can see there, we got ourselves an orb, and I think it actually isn't in Oh, there it is. I actually have two because I got one before. But there you go. There's your orb. Once you've got your orb, guys, from a uh, boss, doesn't need to be yellow. That's just to make it easy because they drop more. Um, then you need to convert it into what stone, um, what like uh, bird you want. So if you want yourself a uh, Articuno, you need to give it a water stone, I believe. Actually, I want to test that. Is that a water stone? I think it's a water stone. Um, let me just check right here. So let's grab a water, a fire, and a thunderstone. I'm really confused about that. I don't know because water doesn't really make much sense, but uh, I suppose if it does. So let's go inside over here to our crafting table and uh, let's put the orb with a water stone. And it is in fact the water stone. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to put ours into a fire stone to get ourselves a Moltres today. So we're going to put that away. The same thing would have come up uh, if I did a thunderstone here. That's how you make an orb of static souls, and the other one is the frozen souls, so we'll just make that for lols anyway. So as you can see, when I try to put these static souls inside of one of these things that you have to find on the map somewhere in their respective biomes, you put it in, and it'll tell you that your orb is not full. Now to fill it up, you actually have to go ahead and kill a Pokemon with that respective type. So we want to kill a electric Pokemon, so let's try and kill ourselves a Pikachu. Um, and so let's try to kill it and the orb should fill up slightly. Um, I don't know if it shows up recognizably. I don't think it does. So it doesn't actually prompt anything in chat, but it is filled up a slight bit. It does take, I heard, around 250 kills. Um, I'm, I don't know if that's confirmed. That's just what um, one of these server devs was telling me today who works for the mod. Um, he actually uh, confirmed a number. Well, he didn't confirm, but he just throw around the number of it, around 250, so it is pretty hard to get there. However, I will no doubt, and I have already reported this, uh, that the Moltres is sort of glitched out of the three. Uh, if you do put it in, you don't actually need to charge it right now, um, but uh, that's just for Moltres, and as you can see, well, it's good to display this, because as you can see, you put it right in, and then you will get yourself a Moltres. It's a one-time use per thing, 
And uh, yeah, that's how you get yourself a bird. Now, um, obviously for these guys, uh, you will have to legitimately get those, but Moltres is the easiest to get right now. I think it's good to show off anyway in this case. But yeah, you just go up to your Moltres and then bang, you've got yourself a legendary bird. So there we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy this Pixelmon 3.0 model, um, or not mod, mod showcase for another feature. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And like I said at the start of this episode, it would be great to hit 5,000. But anyways, guys, I'll see you with hopefully another Pixelmon 3.0 video today, either be Pokeballers or another feature. But anyways, guys, I'll see you next time.